Good morning students. Students, as you already know, we are doing Mission Shat Pratishat Practice Sheet 3. Today, we will solve sum number 11 to 15 of Practice Sheet 3. So, let's start. Next question is choose the exact time according to following clock. In this four options are given and we have to choose the correct option. Students on the clock, hour hand is on 6 and minute hand is on 7. Students see from 12 to 1, 5 minutes at 2, 10 minutes at 3, 15 minutes at 4, 20 minutes at 5, 25 minutes at 6, 30 minutes and at 7, 35 minutes. So, the time is 6.35. Now, students see option A, 8.35. This option is incorrect according to our answer. Option B, 7.30. This option is also incorrect according to our answer. Option C, 8.30. This option is also incorrect according to our answer. Option D, 6.35. This option is correct according to our answer. Students in this, only option D is correct. So, I put tick on option D. Next question is, Hermit goes for a walk in the morning daily at the time indicated on the first clock and return back home at the time indicated on the second clock. Find out at which time he come back home. Student C, on the first clock, our hand is on 6 and minute hand is on 12. So, the time is 6 o'clock and students, when he come back home, the time on the second clock is, our hand is on 6 and minute hand is on 5. So, students see, from 12 to 1, 6, 5, at 2, 6, 10, at 3, 6.15 at 4, 6.20 at 5, 6.25. Now students, he returned back home at 6.25. This is a morning time and we put a.m. at the morning time. So he returned back home at 6.25 a.m. Now students see option. Option A, 6.25 p.m. This option is incorrect. Option B, 6.25 a.m. This option is correct according to our answer. Option C, 6 p.m. This option is also incorrect. Option D, 6 a.m. This option is also incorrect. In this only option B is correct. So, I put tick on option B. Next question is, how many surfaces are there in a cube? In this, four options are given. Students, I have a cube shape. Let's see its surfaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, cube has 6 surfaces. So, students see option A, 8. This option is incorrect according to our answer. Option B, 4. This option is also incorrect according to our answer. Option C, 12. This option is also incorrect according to our answer. Option D, 6. This option is correct according to our answer. In this, only option D is correct. So, I put tick on option D. Next question is, which shape can be formed from the following net? Four options are given. Students see, all the boxes of this net is of square shape. And these boxes formed the surfaces of the shape. Now students, let's make shape with the help of this net. Students see, with the help of this net, cube shape is formed and it has six surfaces and all the surfaces are equal to each other. Now students see option A. This is a figure of cube. 
This option is correct according to our answer. Option B. This option is incorrect according to our answer. Option C. This is a figure of cuboid. This option is also incorrect according to our answer. Option D. This is a figure of cylinder and this option is also incorrect according to our answer. In these only option A is correct. So I put tick on option A. Next question is choose the figure which has greatest area if area of each square is 1 square centimeter. In this four options are given. Students as you already know a flat surface covered by figure or a shape is called its area. To know the area of following figures, we have to count the number of square in this figure. Let's see option A. Students see in this figure, first we count whole squares. Whole squares are 1, 2. There are 2 whole squares. Now students, we will count half squares. There are 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 half squares. Students, 2 half squares make 1 whole square. So, there are 4 half squares means 2 whole square. So, total number of squares in this figure are 4. Let's see option P. In this figure, there are 5 whole squares. Option C. In this figure, there are 7 whole squares. Option D. There are 6 whole squares. Student C. Out of these figures, figure given in option C has greatest area because this figure has maximum number of squares. So, option C is correct answer. I put tick on option C. Now, it's time for homework. In your homework, you have to solve sum number 11 to 15 of practice sheet 3. Thank you.